Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today we'll talk about the purposes of clinical trial monitoring. More after the break. Why does monitoring have to be carried out at all? The most important points according to ICHGCP are to guarantee patient rights and security, data quality and integrity. Monitoring is a core process that should contribute to this process. The monitors have no direct contact with the patient, but they must check whether the doctors who are in direct contact with the patient protect their rights and security. Rights are particularly concerned with ethical rights, such as requiring the patient to consent before being included in a study. In addition, it must also be checked whether only those study-relevant actions are carried out with the patients that are also described in the patient information and for which the patient has given his consent. Safety is related to the documentation and reporting of safety-related events. It is checked whether the study team at the trial site is conducting the study in accordance with the study protocol, good clinical practice, the legal requirements, and the sponsor's SOP. The monitors are also responsible for quality control. Source data verification, being an essential part of quality control, is the most demanding task for many monitors, depending on the training of the monitors and depending on the study indication. It concerns all parts of the medical record, such as ECG, lab reports, and others. These data are compared by the monitors with the study data. This is why it is so important that monitors are able to read the source data, which are the medical records. This is also the reason why a monitor should have clinical and scientific training. In other areas of responsibility, such as project management or data management, we do not find these exact training requirements. In theory, anyone can become a data manager, auditor, or project manager, but monitors are also expected to have clinical and scientific training. They must be able to quickly understand the scientific background of a study through their previous training, but also be able to read the medical records. This results in the need for mental agility for different indications. As monitor, you will learn that there are medical records that contain almost no information, for example, for cosmetics-related questions, and there are medical records that are as thick as a telephone books, for example, for hematological indications. A good educational background is an essential part of a monitor's training. But the monitor's task is not only to control data. The monitor should support the study management, which also includes the sponsor, Accordingly, a monitor must have certain management skills. What does that mean? As a monitor, you are a representative of the study. As the mouth and ear of the sponsor, a monitor is the link between investigator and sponsor. It is very important that you should also pay attention to correct clothing, compliance with rules of conduct and friendliness and acceptance towards those involved in the study. Unfortunately, the opposite can still be found both here in Europe and in the USA. If a monitor is arrogant or introvert, it does not make the doctor's job easier because the flow of information usually does not occur well through this mentality. You are dependent on the cooperation of the doctor and good communication makes everyone's work easier. You should pay attention to a proactive attitude. You should talk in a relaxed and casual way, but you must be sure to provide the necessary information so much about the, the purposes of clinical trial monitoring. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.